Hey everyone, today we've got an episode on using ChatGPT for idea generation and content creation. We're going to walk through three things. The first is how to use ChatGPT to come up with ideas and topics to write about. The second is how do we use ChatGPT to then write a blog post for us based on that topic. And lastly, we're going to take a blog post and use ChatGPT to create micro content like a Twitter thread or LinkedIn post from that blog post. All right, let's get into it. All right, so firstly, we're going to start with generating content ideas when you already have existing content. Let's say you have an existing blog. So for this example, we've got the Founder University blog, which has a bunch of topics here. Um, but now I want to find, find more topics to talk about. So what I'm going to do is just compile a list here, which I've already got, of titles that we've already written about and created content for. And so we're going to take these titles, and this can be the existing content. Let's say you have an existing blog, you would take those titles. We're going to head over to ChatGPT. And I'm going to simply just talk to it like I would talk to a human. So I'm going to say, uh, can you study the following blog post headlines and come up with five new, I'm saying five because I want to be specific, five new um, ideas that are related. Okay. And then I'm going to paste my titles that I just grabbed from my existing blog post. And let's see what we get here. All right. So right here, we've got five because I asked it for five specifically. I can ask it for 10 or more. And I've got topics that are based off of what I fed it already. So it studied these topics and now it's given us new titles and given us a little description of uh, what we can talk about in those. So this is great. I'm going to take it a step further. Uh, and ask it, please give me five new ideas of potential blog posts. Okay, so now hopefully it'll give me a new idea. All right, so here we've got five new ideas that are still similar to the previous information, but these are new topics that I can write about. And so from here, what I would do is, you know, get these topics and go over to my Notion page and say new blog post ideas and i will just paste them in here and then i'll take the other suggestions here and i'll capture that in my notion page as well so in you know under a minute we fed it information of existing topics that we've written about we've then asked chat gpt to create different variations of those blog posts and then we further asked it to create new blog post ideas. And it's given us a description so we can then go deeper into this. So for example, um, here we've got the ultimate guide to growth hacking for startups. Uncover the top growth hacking strategies and techniques to rapidly scale your startup. Learn how to analyze and optimize your marketing, product development, and user experience to achieve exponential growth. So this is a huge topic. Um, let's say I want to expand on this and now go to the content creation part of, you know, building out a blog post. So it's got the context here. Now I'm going to take it a step further. Okay. So I'm writing a basic line. It's still pretty broad, um, but there are some specific things I'm asking. So I'm saying, I like the ultimate guide to growth hacking for startups as a blog post idea. Can you help me create this topic into a short and concise blog post with a clear hook body and conclusion? So let's see our results. All right, so look what we've got here. We've got we've got a title actually, the ultimate guide to growth hacking for startups. Uh, we've got the introduction. Are you ready to take your startup to new heights? Growth hacking is the answer. So a little bit salesy, so I probably wouldn't you know include this, or I might ask it to refine it. Um, but the cool part is here in the body. I've now got these seven points of key growth hacking um, frameworks to use, right? And so. One is understanding the growth hacking mindset. One is identify your North Star metric. One is leverage the AARRR framework. One is implement viral loops. So these individual topics uh, can serve as separate blog posts itself. But the cool thing is here, I've got like a 101 uh, to growth hacking blog. And so I can take these and I'll just save this information. I'm going to copy this over to here and I'm going to paste it just so I have this. And I'm just saving it a notion. You can use Google Docs or Coda or whatever tool um, to save your information. But the cool part is here, I've got essentially uh, a high level growth hacking blog post 
that I can then repurpose. I can edit some stuff here uh, and then th take it a step further, create an individual blog post for each one of these topics. And so now I've got one piece of content, which is the blog post. I can take it a step further and create an individual blog post for each one of these topics, um, which then you could still ask GPT to, you know, dive deeper into that topic. So I'll run a quick example here just to show you the continuation loop that you can use to further your content creation. So I'm going to say um, leverage the AARRR framework. So I'm going to ask it, can you expand on the AR framework? Please provide some examples of this. Okay, so here are the results. It gives me a full explanation of the AARRR framework. Um, and it breaks down into, you know, four pillars, which are five pillars, I should say, which is acquisition, activation, retention, referral, revenue. It gives me the definition or the explanation of what they're talking about. And then it gives me an example of a startup because I asked it for, please provide an example of this. And so each framework has now an example to go along with it, which is incredible. So this is the first example of using ChatGPT with existing content. But now using that existing content to create new ideas and from those new ideas, creating new content. All right, now let's move on to using ChatGPT to create content for your product or service that let's say you have no content published and you've just got a product out and now you want to start building content for it. So the way you can do this is just talk to GPT um, as a person again and explain what your product does. So in this example, we're going to do a real life example here of a founder university company cohort uh three company called clear space all right so here's the website of the company their tagline is uh eliminate digital distraction get control over your screen time okay so the product helps you uh, eliminate distraction obviously and it's an ios and android app um and it helps you track your screen time okay so let's go back to chat gpt and explain this all right so i wrote this prompt in gpt so it says my product is an app that helps you eliminate digital distraction our mission is to help people get control over their screen time and be more mindful of their phone usage okay so this is me just prompting chat gpt here and now i'm going to ask it with this context i'm going to ask gpt to help me come up with some blog post ideas so i want to create a list of 10 ideas for potential blog posts. All right, and here we have it. So I've got a, now a list of 10 of potential blog post ideas. So let's go through some of these. Clear space, your key to a mindful digital, digital life. And then it gives me an explainer of what I can talk about. Introduce your app and explain it how it and explain how it helps achieve balance in their digital lives. Let's go to another one here. The impact of screen time on mental health and well-being. Discuss the negative effects of excessive screen time and how ClearSpace can help mitigate them. Um, let's go one more here because these are great. Creating a healthy work-life balance with ClearSpace. Tips and tricks. Provide practical advice on how users can leverage ClearSpace to establish a healthy balance between their personal and professional lives. Okay, I just read off three, but this list is great. We've got 10 solid ideas that I can then expand on to create a blog post. So, Let's take it a step further. Let's say parenting in the digital age, using ClearSpace to foster healthy screen time habits for your children. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I like number six. So my prompt was, I like number six, which is here. Um, and I said, write me a blog post outline. Um, and I want it to be short and concise with a clear hook, body and conclusion. So gives me the title here, which it already had created. Then for the introduction, it gives me options, right? Because I said outline, it's not going to write it for me. I can get it to write it for me, but I said outline. So it's going to give me the prompt back. Um, and so I can then, you know, go back and edit and figure out what I want to add. So it says, present the challenge of managing children's screen time in today's tech driven world. And then another one, it says, introduce clear space as a solution for parents seeking to cultivate mindful phone usage uh, habits in their children. Then I move on to the body. It's given me just pointers and prompts that I can then expand on. So like the importance of managing children's screen time or impact on mental health or effects on social media and family time. Um, so it continues to give me more 
that I can include in the body and I can take these points and then expand. Again, I can just ask GPT here to expand on um, the impact on health uh, or expand on the impact or effects of social skills and family time. So I can ask GPT essentially endlessly to expand on the content that it's already created. So again, this is just another example. I explained the product right at the top. I explained what my product is and then I asked it to create a list of ideas. And then from these ideas, I expanded it and asked it to give me an outline for a blog post. So you can do this for any product. Try it out with your own and see how it goes. All right, now let's move to the last part. So the first two parts were about content creation, idea generation. Now let's say we've got the blog post created. Now we want to create micro content. And micro content really is just a Twitter thread, a LinkedIn post, any, any sort of social media post that we can create based on the, the meat, which is the blog post. So back to GPT, I'm going to switch to GPT-4. So what I'm going to do is I've got a blog post here. It's a great blog post on how to give a great presentation written by Jason Calacanis. And I'm, I've copied this blog post, right? I've just taken the text, copied it. And now it's in my clipboard. I'm going to ask it, I'm going to paste the blog post here. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to create a Twitter thread for me because I want to create content on my Twitter account. So what I'm going to do is, again, talk to it like a person. I want to create a 10 part Twitter thread that summarizes the following blog post. Okay, I'm going to paste it and enter. All right. And these are the results. Again, this is pretty incredible. So first tweet says, want to create a successful product demo? Follow these tips. First, make sure to show your product within the first 15 seconds. And I can just go back to the, the, the source of the blog post. And you know we see that as the number one tip here. But the way it's structured is now it's in a tweet thread format. So I can then refine it by asking ChatGPT to maybe, let's say, take out the emojis, or let's say, provide more examples of this. Um, but as a base level, we've now got a 10 part Twitter thread that I can then publish on Twitter based on the existing blog post. All right, that's a wrap for today's video. We went over three things. We used ChatGPT to create blog post topic ideas based on original content that we had already created. We then used ChatGPT to create brand new idea by just explaining a product and service. And then we use ChatGPT to outline a blog post and then from there create micro content that we can then share as a Twitter thread or LinkedIn post. So next, I want you to try this out for your own product or service and see what you create. Don't just use the content raw, take the content, maybe structure it a little bit more, fine tune it by asking additional prompts. And there you have it.